the time is right mm -hmm. for more interaction between the people of the United States and the people of China. 今日，犹他州前州长迈克尔·莱维特率领美国犹他州友好代表团一行十三人，开展了以友谊为主题的访华之旅。Having people who have shared interests and shared desires and shared needs to equally interact and get to know each other is a sure way to improve our relationship. The time is right for our countries to once again. Come together and to be able to set a good example. There are always moments in time when nations have tensions, but the people are people, and they feel with one heart. There's an appetite on both sides for education to be a big part of the way we move our countries forward together. We got this from a、uh, second grade class. They're wishing us a happy year of the dragon and Chinese New Year.、Mm. Thank you for being awesome. This is our first visit to China. My first time and her first time. It's a lot of emphasis on kindness. A lot of emphasis on helping children have lives where they can have peace and love. I have five children and four daughters have all studied Chinese. And what I want for them is, I think, what I see people here want for their children. A period when we're focused on people to people,、mm -hmm. we're focused on youth, and we're focused on subnational.、Uh, think of youth traveling to the Great Wall.、Mm -hmm. Think of students coming to Forbidden City. Think of the rising generations in universities and in laboratories and doing、uh, many things together, expanding our appreciation for who we each are. I just had my 70th birthday. And I'm very young at heart. Whatever our chronological age is, we all need to see the world with new eyes and new hopes and new expectations. The media is often villainized for doing different things, but I I think we all learn by our what we see and what we experience. I've had a fascination with Chinese instruments, so obviously being able to see them being used was just—it moved me. It was amazing. It helps not just the U.S. and China's relations, but also relations with other countries. It helps better understand each other, so that in the future, when we have differences, we will be able to understand each other better. So I want to—I want to keep pursuing my education in Chinese into col into college, and who knows, maybe even come to China for school. It's very exciting to see President Xi talk about 50,000 new students, and we would welcome Chinese students to Utah also. So much communication right now is through the internet and through social media,、mm -hmm. but really we. We all know it's hard to communicate if you can't do it face to face. Our students took the time to write to to your president a, a greeting of Happy New Year, and he took the time to write back. And as a world leader. And it's just a way to connect. So at my school, we have about 300 students that are in the Chinese immersion program. And in our immersion program, they spend half the day learning their subjects in Chinese and half of the day in English. It's just a wonderful thing that, that students here are learning English and students in America are learning Chinese, and we're going to connect through that with our younger generation because they are our future. So when people interact at a personal level,、uh, the fear goes away. And the ability to think poorly of the other goes away. I think that will be critical for our countries going forward. Perhaps the United States has been a little bit too proud, a little bit too into ourselves. But there's so much that we could learn from others. When I heard President Xi say that in San Francisco, I was impressed that he had that vision for the future, not just of China, not just of the United States, but of the world. We're the two biggest economies in the world. And so, in some sense, we define what the world is going to look like. We can create a world of prosperity and of peace. We can build that kind of a future, as opposed to some other people building different futures.